Hello guys, my name is Atsep and today I bring you a video of the newly released Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order running on 7 graphics cards from my collection ranging from 2019 to 2009. With that I hope to show you what kind of graphics card is needed to have a satisfying experience in this game. First of all I must say that I was never a fan of Star Wars, don't kill me please. I just saw the original trilogy, episodes 4, 5 and 6. I got to see a bit of episode 1 but I found it very boring and didn't bother to keep watching. Also I know that there are very good games from this movie franchise such as the Knights of the Old Republic and Battlefront 2, the original I mean. This game was developed by Respawn Entertainment, the creators of Titanfall and Apex Legends. It was released in November 2019 and published by Electronic Arts. Yes, I, I know. A good game from Electronic Arts is uh, quite strange nowadays. The GPUs were tested on my computer that packs a Ryzen 7 3700X and 32GB of RAM at 3600 MHz. For a better comparison, the first 6 minutes of gameplay were tested and all GPUs are stable overclocked except the RX 5700 XT. The first graphics card was this one, the RX 5700 XT. I expected good performance, obviously. In Full HD on the Epic preset, this graphics card averaged 109 FPS and 1% lows of 59 FPS. As it can be seen on the video, there are parts where a CPU bottleneck is present, which is kinda expected since 1080p is a low resolution for this card. The thing is, I wasn't expecting that kind of stutter. Keeping the previous set, it was time to test the R9 290. I'm really impressed by the fact that this card is already 6 years old and still very relevant and still offers excellent performance in the newest games. On average it ran Star Wars Jedi Fallen Order at 62 FPS and 1% low was 46 FPS. Let's keep AMD's GPUs as company and the R9 270X could not stand either Epic or Ice settings. I was forced to dial the settings down to medium, which are actually the lowest settings in this game. Basically it serves to say that it's not running on low settings, I guess. It ran at 49 FPS on average and 37 FPS 1% lows. Let's change teams and test two NVIDIA's GPUs. The first one is the GTX 950. I used the R9 270X settings and it performed better, possibly because it's an Unreal Engine game. It averaged 54 FPS and 1% lows of 39 FPS. I had to lower the game resolution slightly to 900p for a more enjoyable experience with the GTX 750. If you have this card, you can expect 41 FPS on average and 1% lows of 32 FPS. For those who do not know or have not realized yet, I really enjoy AMD graphics cards, much due to the ATI era. So the next GPUs are two of my favorite graphics cards, both from ATI and both from 2009. To play this game on the ATI HD 5870, I had to lower the resolution even further. 720p is the minimum that I can tolerate, largely due to the aspect ratio. Fortunately, this way we can still play this game at an average of 32 FPS, the 1% low of 28 shows that the game is quite stable to have a locked 30 FPS experience. Also note that because this GPU has only 1 GB of VRAM available, many textures do not load, but only during the cutscenes makes me want to wash my eyes with alcohol. Finally, it's time to try my favorite graphics card, the ATI HD 5770, due to the nostalgia that uh, brings me. Medium and 720p were not enough for this graphics card to pass the 30 FPS barrier. In truth, it was more like a 24 FPS cinematic experience on average and 1% lows of uh, 17 FPS. For me, it's 
unplayable. Fortunately, this game has a dynamic resolution tool, of course the quality will decrease but the frame rate will increase. This way it's possible to obtain 39 FPS on average and 1% loss of 25 FPS. I must say I was quite surprised by that, I wasn't expecting this kind of performance. In conclusion, I can state that Star Wars Jedi The Fallen Order is not even as a demanding game as I was expecting, even on the medium settings it offers amazing graphics. What seems to be the most problematic thing is the CPU bottleneck, but increasing the resolution should solve that. I hope you enjoyed the video, if so leave a like and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, cheers!